I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force because we're going to force hands in pre-selected categories. I have one for every category on the card. You might ask, why is this a good exercise? I think it's good for a couple of reasons. One, it forces you to play outside your comfort zone. Also, if you ever plan to play in a tournament or a special event where there are prizes for hands won in pre-selected categories, you'll be prepared and could even come home a winner. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to force hands in these categories, singles and pairs, wins and dragons, and odds. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a couple of jokers, a white dragon, and a north. Two, three, five, seven, nine in cracks with a pair of twos. Then we have six, seven in bams, one, nine in dots. Singles. We need to force a singles and pairs hand, wins and dragons hand, and odds. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would force an odd hand, even though we have a pair here. We actually almost have a year block, but we have only one wind. And Winds and Dragons is on the card, but there's only one hand that we could play here, and that would be the second hand from the bottom with the year tiles. So there's only four tiles there. But look at all the odd tiles we have. We have seven, far more to work with, and a whole category of hands we could play. So that's why I would play odds in this case. So I would pass those three. Play odds. There is an offsuit odd hand we could maybe use the white dragon if we played bams and cracks. So let's see what happens. Well, we got a pair of nines and white dragons. I think I would play that five, seven, nine hand with opposite dragons. Fourth hand down. Five, seven, seven, nine big odds. We wouldn't need that nine there. And we would need a pair of fives. We have a gap. We could use this to help with sevens. All right, so that would be one option. I think I would keep the nine dot and let this three go. Now that is a bit risky there. Focus on big odds. We could even play five, bam, seven, bam, seven, nine, crack. Maybe we could break this up a little bit and give up the nine dot. There's no double nine hand this year in odds. 
So let's let the nine dot go. We have a five dot and a seven dot. Five, seven, seven, nine. And we can use the Kong. I think I would focus on that hand. We have no gaps. This is the third hand down on the right. So let's pass these three. No keepers, easy pass. No keepers there, that's gonna be a bit risky. I think I would break this up a little bit and pass a seven in there. No keepers, we have a flower here. Seven, nine. I think we're on last right, I would pass blind. I would not pass like numbers with twos and I would not pass a flower and I would not pass white dragons either. I think I would pass two, so one blind. No keepers. This is a little bit of a risky pass, but we have no gaps, so I think the risk is worth it for a full pass. Optional cross. We got the nine dot back. I think I would just discard all those. Hold this for joker bait. Play five, seven, seven, nine. We could Pung here, Pung here, Kong here. We just need help with seven dot. I think that was pretty good result. We have four discards and joker bait. For odds. We have a joker, a pair of Vs, a white dragon, one, four, seven in bams, five, seven in dots, two, four, five in cracks with a pair of fives. We need to force wins and dragons and a singles and pairs hand. I think what I would do is force wins and dragons. I'd keep ear tiles because there's one hand that we could use in that category there. Since we're forcing wins and dragons, primarily because we have a joker, I would break up the five. Maybe pass one of each suit. All right, we're looking for wins. We got one and a dragon. I would keep it. So let's break up that pair. This is there, one of each suit. Flower, there's hands with flowers in Winds and Dragons. And we have tiles we can pass. This is a little bit risky, five, seven, eight. That's all right, there's always a little risk in every pass. Dragon. Looks like winds and dragons, east and west with green. That is gonna be a little risky. Let's see, I think no matter how we slice this, it's gonna be risky. 
maybe we can there's the concealed news hand that uses dragons we could break that up by letting an east go I think what I would do here is maybe pass 143 focus on cracks for a year or wins and dragons only No keepers, and we have tiles we can pass. We got a keeper, a year tile, and we have tiles we can pass. A little risky with seven, eight, and dots there. But as I say, there's always a little risk. We got a keeper, a north. Well, maybe. Here we have two tiles to pass. I think we could either do east and west with the year. There's, well, if you think about that joker being in there, eight tiles for east and west with the year. That would be the second hand from the bottom on the right. Or we could play The dragon concealed hand. That's one less tile. We'd have to let this east go. I think what I would do is keep all that and pass one blind for the last or last pass, which is optional cross. No keepers. So we have two hands in here that we could play. Or really even more because we could focus purely on wins with flowers so we've got lots of options I would not pick a hand get rid of the discards and build around multiples for wins and dragons Okay, we have all the dragons, one of each, four, five, nine in dots, five, six, nine in cracks, two, four, six, eight, nine in bams. We need a singles and pairs hand. I'm thinking maybe two, four, six, eight. Really? Two, four, six, eight. The only hand with dragons in the singles and pairs category is the big ear hand, and we only have one, two. So I don't think I would keep dragons. I'd keep two, four, six, eight, and see about playing the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two, four, six, eight pair, and we have no flowers. It's going to be a little tricky. The other thought is to play big odds pair hand. We have one more tile for two, four, six, eight, but we need like number pairs. So we're kind of in between evens and odds. Let's see if we have a sequence in one suit. We really don't. So I don't think I'd play the sequence hand. Three, six, nine. We don't have any threes. I think two, four, six, eight is going to be the way to go here. Now, you might consider a plan B. So let's keep the green dragon for maybe the two, four, six, eight hand with dragons. So if we do nine, five, red, maybe not pass a 
corresponding drag in there. So let's keep evens. We got an even. No pairs yet. I th still think I would keep dragons for a bit. Let's see here. Let's pass these three. We got a four, our first multiple, and we got a green dragon. All right, now we have nines and a three. So here we need to choose. I think I would break up these dragons, focus on the pair hand, give myself options for those pairs. Let's pass these three. Two and a six. We have tiles we can pass. We have a pair here. We need two dot if we're gonna make that pair work. Northwest six. Twos, six, uh, let's see. We do have a six in here, but we're trying to force a pair hand. There's two, four, six, eight. I think I would go ahead and pass these three. We've got a two and a six. For a pair hand, we don't need a pung. So I think what I would do here is pass two, four east. We have either twos or sixes for our like number pairs. We got threes. I would keep my options open. I do not pass like numbers, so maybe to get a full pass, I would pass the white dragon. Even though we're doing optional cross, a lot of times you see the same tiles coming through at that point, but you never know. Someone might change their hand. We did pick up that six bam as an option. So we have two, four, six, eight pair hand in here with either twos or sixes for the like number pairs. I would keep them both and I would even keep the six for a plan B in the two, four, six, eight category if the pair hand falls through. So we have three discards, which is not bad for singles and pairs. American Mahjong is a very flexible game. You can make just about anything work with any dealt hand. You gotta make the right decisions at the right time and build around strength. Select a category to focus on and gather tiles for that category. When you run out of discards, pick a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.